Hey there YouTube. Today I wanted to do a quick review of a, a new frame that I just got. Um, got this one at Banggood. Um, a lot of people get stuff at Banggood. That and Hobby King kind of seem to be two of the real popular sites for some cheap cheap uh, quad stuff. FPV, mini quad motors, ESCs, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, today we got um, a 180 frame. I wanted to try something a little bit smaller. So this one comes from Diatone. And it is the Spadger 180. Uh, look at the label there. It says it's made of carton fiber. So hopefully carton fiber is as good as carbon fiber. But that's a, it's a 180 frame. Comes with uh, two plates, top plate and a bottom plate um, standoffs. It even does come with a diatone PDB. So I'm going to open this up here. real quick what comes with this. Don't eat the desiccant. So you get a bottom, top plate, there's that PDB. Uh, your nylon hardware for separate the standoffs. You do get some steel hardware, little, uh, little red guys here. These are to separate the carbon fiber frame from the um, PDB so there's no shorting out once you're lit up. And uh, these little standoffs here, shorter ones, I suppose that would be for your um, power distribution board and flight controller stack in the middle. Here's the uh, standoffs to separate the frame plates. Um, not very tall, so you're not, we're not going to have a lot of room in there. Uh, it comes with, looks like five nuts, five nylon screws. Um, yeah, we're going to have six standoffs, so uh, it came with seven, so at least it looks like they're giving you some extra stuff. Um, as far as the screws go, we got, we got plenty of those. I think we're six standoffs, we would only need 12 screws, so we got plenty of those. Um, so, here's the frame. Uh, looks like it's about three millimeters, but we can uh, measure that and be sure. Okay, so we'll measure the frame. Yeah, 3.13 right there. Check the arm. Yeah, three. Um, check the thickness of the arms. 16.9, so 17 millimeters wide. If we want to lay the uh, ESCs out here, I think the you know the SN20s, the BL20, the uh, little Bs. I think they're all like 14 or 15 millimeters wide so that would fit perfectly right there. Uh, as far as motor mounting options that looks like I think they intend for this to be used with like 1306 maybe 1806 it doesn't look like a 2204 or anything like that would would fit but that would probably be overkill for this frame anyway. A um, couple things to note here with the uh, reliefs cut in the cut in here this is probably going to be our front because we have um, some little holes there and slots and that's probably made for the Diatone mini camera mount. Uh, I have one of those around here somewhere. We'll pull it out uh, in just a minute and look at how that goes. But um, yeah, you're going to probably need to run a mini camera uh, or get real, real, real creative with how you're going to use a full size board camera. Um, so that was three millimeters on the bottom plate. Here's the top plate. Um, this would be the front up here because it's got a larger cutout for your camera tilt. Uh, rear section, uh, I'm not sure why that's cut out, maybe for let the battery leads come up through there or the uh, 90 degree uh, SMA off your video transmitter. Uh, thickness on this guy, one and a half. Uh, let's just see real quick how tall these standoffs are. Not very, that's for sure. All right, so those are 20. So you might want to uh, consider getting some longer ones, maybe some 30s, 35. Um, then these little standoffs for the uh, PDB area. Let's just see how tall those are. Uh, 
so those are tens. So again, you can source your own nylon parts if you want to and make this thing a little taller. And then we have the uh, Diatone PDB here. So it comes in a, I believe it's a 50 millimeter overall frame. Um, but it's only, you know, just connected four little spots so you can crack that out, cut those down. Um, looks like it's going to do 5 volt regulators on here. And this would be, they call it the version 3.1 um, PDB. So, you know, probably, oh, there you go. Sorry, not 50, it tells you right there. 30.5 on the smaller center to center, 45 on the larger center to center. So depending on your frame, if you're, oh man, it's really thin. Look at the, the flexing right there. You can see how much that would bend. So, um, yeah, maybe I can get a, uh, an XT60 sign, um, soldered up to this and uh, see what we get for the 5 volt out. Make sure it's a, a solid 5. Um, yeah, and then of course we got the little, again, the nylon or little fiber fiber washers to uh, stand you off from the board so you don't do any shorting. So yeah, let me, let me throw this together real quick and then we'll get some final build measurements and we'll see uh, how that motor fits on there. Alright, just wanted to talk about the, uh, the PDB real quick. So you'll notice you get a uh, indication of which of the pads are going to give you your 5 volt. And it's kind of nice that there's one on the front and one on the back. So, you know, maybe go to your camera and your video transmitter um, out the back. Uh, tap off for the uh, flight controller, whatever. But, I mean, the fact that it's on both sides instead of all on one side, that's kind of nice. Um, so I'm going to just uh, wire up a battery to this real quick and we'll see where the voltage comes out. Hopefully it's pretty accurate here. Oh, one other thing to notice. You have pretty much all your positives on one side, on the right side here, and all the negative on the on the left. So if we assume this is the back, maybe you run your power leads in here up on the back like that. But it, it, it kind of gives you some options since the whole side is positive and the whole side is negative. You can wire it however you need to. Uh, so let's put a negative lead here. Alright. And we'll put a positive lead over here. Okay. Get out the multimeter. So just checking any of these other negatives on the side and any of the other positives on the side, we get, all right, pack voltage, 11.5. Um, check this little 5 volt section, 4.94. Uh, same up above. Oh, let's get on there real good. Hmm, 4.61. Alligator clips are slipping off here. Four, five, three. Well, it looks like maybe my pack is starting to go down. Yeah. But you can see along the sides, you're getting full pack voltage. Corners. Okay, so that's just straight pass through. So just the just the ones at the front and the rear labeled 5 volts, that's what you get. So it looks pretty good for that. Alright, so we'll keep going from here.
now that it's fully assembled with all included parts, uh, let's just get a get a weight on it. See how that goes. Alright, 64. 64 grams as it comes in the bag. So, before any electronics or additional parts. Um, yeah, just want to note again, that's, that's pretty short. But I like it. I like how that looks. And um, these being white, uh, you know, maybe I will try taking this apart and using some uh, Kool-Aid or Rit dye or something to color those up, boil them and, I don't know, make them green or purple or something. That might be cool. Alright, there it is built. Looks pretty nice. Um, it's pretty stiff. I, it feels pretty good. I don't, it feels like it could take a real beating. So, um, yeah, that's how that went. So uh, there really wasn't enough. First, I, I tried maybe running the uh, the screws up from the bottom. You got one of those red isolation washers right there, and then the PDB, and then uh, the standoff. Um, at first, I thought run the screws up from the bottom, but there's they're just not long enough to catch all all the way through that. So it turns out you want to take the PDB flight controller stack standoffs and go down from the bottom as you saw that gives you I don't know maybe three or four threads sticking out the bottom it'd be nice if those were a little bit longer so maybe I'll end up swapping these out um, but then you put the, the nuts on the bottom and then these up here are little cap screws I left this off so we can get an idea of uh, what kind of space up to up to right there where your flight controller is going to sit but they're little cap screws. Um, they are. They are okay. They're like the the same size. Nope, they're one size larger than the metal ones. So these are probably a two, and this is probably a. These are probably a three, right here. Um, so I just I left this one out. It's not a spare. All over here. This is all the spares you get. You get a spare uh, standoff 20 mil, a spare cap screw and a spare PDB flight controller standoff, a spare nut. Uh, I came up with three spare metal screws and as you see a ton of the washers. Um, so let's just mic these out now. Turn this back on. So inside clearance we end up with Mm. Yep, looks like 19. So that makes sense because it's the same as these standoffs here. Um, top of the flight controller standoff. Hmm, how are we going to do that? Well, let's, let's see if we can do it from the bottom. So from the bottom of the top plate, that's 8.4. So, eight, I don't know, 8.5 consider the thickness of your PDB so let's just say I'm sorry your flight controller let's just say eight millimeters down from the top so you've got basically got eight millimeters of space right there to put your flight controller um, that should be pretty good that should be fine especially if you're gonna direct solder not use any pins which uh, would probably be a smart idea for this small this tight of a frame so I mean generally what spacers are typically like 35 millimeter so um, this is this is kind of tight, but I, I, it's almost like a low rider. It's so, I mean, I guess it's proportional for a 180 frame, but uh, that's I mean that's really short right there. So anyway, this this final cap screw would go right there. Um, let's just look at a uh, comparison to a ZMR. So here's a ZMR 250, and then. The Spadger 180. Oh, and I, I looked it up. A Spadger, a Spadger is a little bird. It's like a, in in Europe, in Germany. Um, so I suppose it's like a sparrow. So here's a 250, 
and then there's the 180. You can kind of try to hold these up on top of one another. Oh, sorry, there you go. Okay, so quite a difference. But this ought to be pretty fun. Pretty fun size. Um, uh, we're going to talk about motors. So let's bring a motor over here. So there's an 1806. That's probably the largest that they think you can run on here. And that looks like what the holes for the motors will support. Um, so this is just a DYS 1806. Pull these through, get them out of the way. Okay. So trying to line up these holes. And what do you know? It looks like you're only gonna be able to use. I don't know if we can see that there. And try. But it only lines up with two of the holes. Come on, guy, focus. <laughs> um, well, there we go. So you can only see those motor mount holes through the slots that are like at 10 o'clock and 4 o'clock there. So, two screws. Use Loctite. And that's on an 1806. I, I don't have any 1306, so maybe, I'm sure those are probably a little smaller, because these 1806 here, you can see they've got like the 16 holes and then the 19 holes. Um, i got a sunny sky here as well. And, uh, yeah, those are just bigger all around, so those, those would not fit. Let's just, let's just be fun and try it. Take a look. Um... Yeah, I mean it's hanging up on the C-clip. It's it's not going to fit. Those holes those holes even extend out past the edge of the arms. That's funny. Uh, yeah, so you're not doing 2204s on this frame. 1806. This looks looks like the biggest that you'll get. So uh, anyway, this is the Spadger 180. It comes with the PDB. I purchased this through Banggood. Uh, right now, today on Banggood, it's going for like $21. I paid $17. I got it on some sort of sale. Uh, you know, Banggood's always running different uh, sales. Almost like every day they have those flash deals. So you could probably, if you just keep looking at it, um, pick this up for $16, $17, $18 because they'll be knocking it off 5 10 12%, something like that. But this is the Spadger 180 from Diatone, and I'll put the link for uh, Banggood sale uh, down in the description. So cool. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe to the video and tune in for more. Thanks.